Okay, and welcome to my uh, YouTube site, and thank you for watching my video on green screen editing and capturing. So today what we're going to do is briefly go through the um, editing part once you have recorded your video with a green screen, um, the steps you're going to take to bring it in to the software, what software you're going to use, and then, you know, essentially how you're going to edit it. So. We'll try to make this brief, but um, I've been using Pinnacle Studios for quite a few years. I started off with 10, and then I went up um, upgrading, so on and so forth. Uh, right now, I believe I'm at 18 point um, six, and just today I noticed they came out with 19. So the first step um, with uh, Pinnacle Studios, and I want to say one thing: Pinnacle Studios is is a great software they have a lot of plugins and um, content features including effects and transitions uh, sound effects and um, disk menus and lots of effects that you can do so what I want to first do is you can see here we have the AV track with the audio visual track um, you have one two three four and so on and so forth and you could have uh, as many as you want, I guess. So what we're doing is I pulled the video that we took today on the green screen, and I pulled it into AV Track 2, okay? And you can see here we have um, an eye that basically if I select that, it'll turn that off, that layer, okay? And it'll show the layer below it. So below it, I've actually put a picture. Um, in other parts of the video, I did put um, some video footage that I have, okay, and then pictures again and so on. But we need to show this initial video because this is the green screen footage. So you always want to have the green screen footage above and then below you want to have the image that you want to overlay it, okay, because we're going to select out the green. Right, and how do we do that? Well, with Pinnacle Studios, it's quite simple. Numerous ways you can do it. Um, you can go in navigation and you can go to effects and you have all your effects. Um, we're simply going to um, do this. We're going to double click on this. It's then you're going to open up the effects. And you can see the effects here up on top. And you can transition in, um, do some corrections and whatnot. But what we want to choose is we want to choose the effects and we want to go to the keyers. And we're going to focus just on, like I said, uh, Studio Chroma Keying. Okay, so we're going to select Chroma Keying. Immediately when I select that, what do you see? You notice that it's taking out the green background. Okay, and it's showing whatever video or photo footage I put, okay, in the audiovisual um, line below. And over here you have your studio chroma keying uh, setting. So if I did see some, you know, borders around here and it just didn't look right, well, we can change the, the softness and we will go ahead and do that. I'll take that down to zero. You can do transparency. And as you change the transparency, it's going to make myself actually blur out a little bit. Okay. Um, so you can kind of get the idea. All right, I'm then going to hit OK. And on the left, you have your volume, OK? But we're not dealing with volume today. You'll notice automatically what happens is you will see me, and you'll see me in front of a mountain. So let's say, though, we want to have a different background. Say we want to be in, let's pull this one in here. I'm going to do this. I'm going to drag it, and I'm going to pull it into this AV3 and I'll show you the reason I do that I'm gonna select it and drag it and make it wide now immediately what do you see you see that this has now become the background and it appears as though I'm actually in front of at this marina and this is actually Fire Island so you get the point um, so you can do this in many different um, settings I mean and you can see here uh, I put a video alright we don't notice here in this part is I'm showing you how chroma key, 
the green screen uh, gloves work. So I put the gloves on, you can immediately see my hands kind of disappearing. Okay. So you're basically selecting out the color green when you edit it. All right. And this basically shows you exactly that, what's happening. And here we have the rest of the tool. So it is rendering right now, so it will take some time. But I just wanted to give you an idea of, of what, um, you know, how versatile it is and how well it works and so on and so forth. Um, here, I'm actually I'm going to show you what happens when I put a green screen suit on, which is entirely green. So anything that I'm wearing that's green, it's going to become transparent, okay? You'll notice I walk in and you can't see my hands, you can't see my um, head because I'm wearing a suit over my green screen um, morph suit, okay? And I take the hoodie off of that, all right? And this is what you see. And I take the jacket off, okay? And then you see the top part disappear. I put it over my shoulder. And then heck, I put it back on. Take it off. And take the rest off. And I'm gone. But I come back. How do I do that? Well, simple. I simply take off the mask on the green screen. Okay? Very simple concept. All right, well, I thank you for watching this short uh, introduction to green screen um, chroma keying on uh, Pentacle Studio 18.6. If you have any questions or comments, um, please send them to me, and I'll answer them as uh, quickly and as best as possible.